How to close a sale? Perfecting how and when, ask the question, are you ready to place an order, is at the core of how to close a deal in sales. Choosing the right phrases to seal a sales deal is a frequently raised aspect when talking about sales. It's widely believed that salespeople should openly ask clients to place an order and even the most experienced salespeople wait too long before they do that and for that reason they miss out on opportunities to close more sales every day. Theoretically, if you have done your job properly, qualifying your prospect, you delivered your pitch and you still believe you have a good solution for your prospect, ask for the sale. Those who don't do that are seen as those who feel fear of rejection and therefore procrastinate. Argument is that the client usually says no several times before he says yes. Personally, I think it's not a best idea. In this video, easy to apply sales closing techniques and how to smoothly close a sale and minimize the risk of harsh rejection. My name is Pablo, I have been in sales for over 15 years. I built a network of contacts and sales from scratch several times in my career in the open market for companies operating in the industrial sector. If you are looking for real world information and advice, please subscribe and let's continue. You don't have to ask a client to place an order to know that there is no chance for that. You don't have to ask directly if you know that you most likely will hear sales objections and word no. Using similar arguments as mentioned above, that the client usually says no several times before he says yes, we can say that if the client will say no several times, he's more likely to say no next time as well. After all, that's what NLP and psychologists who study human behavior say. Besides, being persistent is one thing. First and foremost, you need to be reasonable, especially if you are dealing with clients who are commercially savvy. Buyers who deal in sales professionally know very well how to deal with sales reps, that's why the persistence alone is not enough. Sales is a game for smart people. The majority of leads aren't going to close right there on your first cold call. It's a process that has a beginning, followed by development and the conclusion, the right moment when you should try to close. If you are interested in selling, you have probably heard over and over again that you should always closing. This kind of advice are useful if you are selling to individual clients or small and medium sized enterprises, but usually not work well for large companies. These sales closing techniques are almost all hard closes, and putting pressure on buyers who deal with sales professionally can often be counterproductive. Such people don't make purchasing decisions under pressure and they know very well how to deal with salespeople. For large companies, you need to focus more on medium and soft closes. But, of course, not everything is black or white and there are many shades of grey. Therefore, there are always exceptions to the rule. But in the case of new prospects, I usually prefer to ask to place an order in a more natural way. The soft close is a way to show your prospect the merits of your business proposal and then ask a low impact question to ascertain whether he's ready to place an order. If some sales issues have already been discussed, you can refer to it and thus check whether the prospect is enthusiastic or skeptical. For this purpose, you can ask a question that is not direct but allows you to assess whether the client is serious about your offer or if he is not ready yet. This way you can smoothly close a sale without evoking unnecessary tension and bad feelings. Clients' positive answer to any of the following questions allow you to assume with high probability whether the client sees a value of your offer and is ready to place an order or you still have to clarify some unclear issues. So instead of directly asking to place an order, you can use more indirect form of closing a sale and say, what would be the most appropriate delivery date? Where the goods should be delivered? What color, size, length and quality are you interested in? What method of payment do you prefer? Will the 30-day payment term be okay? Are you interested in additional discount by paying in cash? Structure the question in such a way that the client when deciding to answer feels already like a user or buyer of your product or service. Sales experts often say that the best salespeople focus on closing a sale as soon as conversation with a prospect begins and through a series of questions they develop desire to the client and eliminate every objection to purchase. 
But my experience tells me that you should rather focus more on discovering and then hitting your prospects emotional buttons. You can talk a lot and give a lot of wise and logical arguments why your product is the best possible option for your prospect, but it's useless if you don't touch the right emotions and read correctly the value system that your clients follow. Closing the sale reminds a bit the Aesop's fable about the wind and the sun. Once there arose a quarrel between the sun and the wind, each of them claimed to be stronger than the other. When they saw a traveler along the road who was wearing a coat, they made a bet. Who could make traveler take off his coat and thus would be stronger? The wind tried first, but the moment it began to blow and traveler felt the force of the wind, he began to hold his coat even stronger. Now it was the turn of the sun. It began to shine brightly. It grew warm and pleasant. And traveler took off his coat. The point is, that both you and your client should feel very comfortable when you try to close a sale. Please keep in mind that you don't need to put pressure on your prospect to be successful in closing a sale. If the client is ready, he will tell you everything and you basically don't have to do anything more. Just take an order. But at the same time, don't be afraid to communicate any urgency if necessary to move the deal forward. If the client is not sure yet, he will usually avoid answer to above questions and this is where you will hear the sales objections. Nothing happens. You can still put everything on the right track and successful close such a sale. It only means that you need more time to learn about your prospect needs and his value system. And the end screen of this video will find the link to the video how to handle any sales objections. Please check it out if you haven't seen it yet. All this applies to the B2B sales model and that's where my focus is because that's where my experience comes from. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you soon.